Hello tubers, here we are again with another video and this time you're looking at a Toshiba laptop and we're going to somewhat unsuccessfully try and open it. There we go. Here we go, there's the machine. I'm going to bring it in closer so you can have a look. Now today we're looking at a Toshiba Satellite L450D AMD Athlon 64 inbuilt touchpad. It's all Windows 7 av available. Well, it will be when I'm done. There's the uh, the Windows 7 badging and all the rest of it to go with it. Quite a slick laptop. But today, I'm going to boot it up now. You push this button here, and you're going to see the ones that can see that it's actually not running 7 at all. And you'll see that we're running Windows Windows XP. Now this wasn't factory installed. I sort of did this. But yeah, there's Windows XP booting up. Doesn't take long for a little laptop. Not a bad little machine at all. My sister's now, it used to be mine, but my sister now has it. So, yeah. You'll see in a moment when it comes up that it's... There it is, it's coming up now. There she be. The Toshiba that's powered by Windows XP. So I'm going to do a safe shutdown on it now. Now this puppy is sitting on top of a really cool looking device. This is, if you can't, you can't really see it, but it's a, hang on, move that out of the way. This is my sister's Belkin cool pad. Basically, the computer perches on some cool pad, like so. And what that allows for is good ventilation on the components basically to keep it from 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 overheating so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and we're going to hit f2 when the screens come up there's a reason for this now we're in the bios i don't know if you, how much of this we'll be able to see but i'm looking at the bios screens If I can get it to focus, the bit that I need to be on. There's the main part. Now this is a setting I need to change. Um, how do I change this thing? Can't remember how you change it. There we go. It's now set to AHCI. Now Windows XP won't run in AHCI mode, but at the blink of an eye, we pop the disk tray open there. There's the CD-ROM tray. And we're gonna zoom out. And we're gonna get the Windows 7 disk, which is right here. Genuine Toshiba recovery. Sweet. Right, so let's get that out of its packet, one-handed. It's on the floor now, but that's okay. There it is. Push it in all the way. And we're going to save settings and exit the BIOS. So we do save and exit. And what that will actually do is allow me to reboot... There, I think it's F12 I used to. I have to boot it with the F12 key to get to the BIOS screen. Now we're going to come back with another video in a minute once we've selected our needed drive, which is that one. Hopefully we should start the Windows installation. And I'm getting Skyped. So I shall now leave you to it, folkies. Speak to you later.